was always more interested in the fabrics themselves rather than what I was uh, rather than fashion, which I loved, but it wasn't really my passion. So that led me to do textile design at RMIT in Melbourne. Part of that course is you major in either print, knit or weave. I definitely went down the print road, so screen printing and the graphics that go on fabrics is really how I started. I'm Pippa Uskero and I'm the creator of Squeak. I started just with scarves. I have this weird thing with scarves. <laughs> I just really like them. So what started with a range of 10 scarves ended up uh, in six months time, ended up being a range of cushion covers as well. And then that led me to bags. Bags led me to dressing gowns. Dressing gowns led me to dresses. So that's pretty much the story of Squeak today. I guess what really helped grow Squeak is actually the trade shows you know, setting up a stand and trying to sell them to retailers. That's probably what grew Squeak the fastest. And that's every six months, so you always need a new collection every six months. You need to keep pushing and pushing. And then obviously I do markets as well. The markets are great because I'm mainly online um, where I sell, so it's good to actually be able to talk to the customer, see the customer. It's nice to see them try it on and get all excited by it, which is kind of nice actually. I see like mother daughters come to the markets and they both want my product, which is kind of cool. And um, my mum is pretty much like my right hand man at Squeak. It's nice to see when I bring something in, she's like, oh, that one, I want that one. And then there's something else and I want it. So the products are mainly natural fibres. They're all 100% silks or 100% um, wool, so I don't really like synthetic fabrics. I don't like the way they feel. I don't like, I just think a quality product needs to start with the fabrics. And then as for the designs, I mean, they kind of come from anywhere, to be honest. So if I take photos of flowers and then I tend to pull them into uh, Photoshop, have a play, see where it takes me. And then I have others that just happen on the spot. They just work straight away and it wasn't what I planned but it just is working and I just roll with it. But usually it's a lot of layer upon layer upon layer of different photographs or uh, geometric patterns that I've drawn or uh, hand drawn things as well. Sometimes you can't even tell that there's photographs in there by the end of it. The fabric itself is all digitally printed. So digitally print allows me to be really colourful, which is clearly what I like. It allows me to do photographic works. Screen printing is not as flexible. Digital printing for fabric is still r relatively new. So I guess the highlight is just every now and then I sit back and take stock of what I've actually managed to achieve so far and that's above and beyond anything I had ever considered. It was always just going to be a hobby and now it's my full-time job. Yeah, I guess sometimes I have that pinch me moment where I see a product that's come in and it's perfect. And sometimes seeing the customer with them, if I'm walking down the street and I see a customer wearing who I've never met before and they've got my bag or my scarf on, or that's kind of cool. 